Georgia, Georgia, I love you, son. When he gets older, he might be the one. He might be the one. Yes, Marcus Conti reporting. Little Phoebe Bridges for you. Little Phoebe, Phoebe in the morning. Thank you, Phoebe. So, uh, reporting on a very sad story today. Very sad story. Or is it sad, or is it just a um, <clears throat> sign of the times? Black on white. Black racism. Black racism on white people. Is that that's not possible, right? It's not possible that blacks can't be racist against whites. It's only white people that are racist against blacks. Is that right? Is that the, is that the fact? So let's take a look. So there's a story that makes my blood boil. So just, you know, I, I, don't, I don't fucking, I don't like talking about this, but here we go. Bernard Freshman stabbed to death in mugging in Morningside, Morningside Park near Columbia University. College mourns student just beginning her journey. So this is the story of uh, Tessa Majors, a southerner from, I don't know, Virginia or Tennessee or wherever she's from. A uh, young woman was stabbed last night uh, entering Morning Star Park. And uh, let's, let's read. A first-year Bernard College student was fa- fatally stabbed during a mugging in Morningside Park Wednesday night, just steps, from, uh, steps away from Columbia University, police said. Tessa Majors, 18 years old, was walking down a, s- a set of steps to the park on West 16th Street near Morning Star Drive when a group of young men confronted her and tried to rob her, sources said. I'm going to take a look at everything. I know the area. I was a, um, I was a sanitation cop. You know, I was a, I was a uh, cop in that area, so I patrolled that area. I know, the, I know the area inside, outside, upside down, and I'm going to show you the maps and exactly uh, where the, uh, the alleged uh, uh, stabbers live. I, they ran back to the uh, projects, uh, so we'll take a look at that. I'll show you the whole thing, but let's get this. Let's just get the details on the record. One of the men knifed her repeatedly in the stomach, and the group scattered. Sources said Major staggered, uh, staggered back up the stairs to Columbia security guard booth, but the guard was out doing his rounds. Sources told the Daily News. When he returned, he found the collapsed teen. Called nine one one. A hat, a butterfly knife, and an uncharged phone were found near her body. So this is apparently the uh, security guard uh, uh, booth. Medics rushed rushed the youngster who had uh, several stab wounds to Mount Sinai St. Luke's Hospital, but they couldn't save her. The hospital is literally next door. It's on the same... Uh, St. Luke's is on the campus of Columbia University. It's literally, literally right next door. The teen's Charlottesville, Virginia. That's where she's from. Uh, parents, author, uh, and James Madison University professor Inman's Inman uh, Inman Majors. So the guy's the girl's uh, father is a professor, college professor, and author, and uh, Christy Burton were en route to uh, New York City, according to our grandparents in Tennessee. There is both. I think they, they're from Tennessee originally. I guess being a small town, a smaller town, <laughs> I guess being from a smaller town, she was too naive to think about walking alone in New York City, said Martha Burton, the teen's grandmother. She just uh, uh, should have, should have, she shouldn't have been there. I, I'm going to take a different opinion. No, you have a right to be wherever you want. I, maybe not the smartest thing to be walking alone in the park at night, a young a young woman. Me, I go anywhere I want to go. You want to you fuck with me? You got you know you got a problem. <laughs> so, it's different. All right. So a young a younger college kid. That's one thing. She was just one of those outstanding people. A musician, did very well in school. She said, "This is the grandmother." A slaying sent shockwaves through the college community. No mention of race, racial tensions at all. No mention that it was a gang of four fucking teenage, teenage motherfuckers from the projects that, that set this girl up, that was sitting by the stairwell when she came down the stairwell and fucking robbed her and stabbed her. No mention of, no mention of the racial tension that they preyed on an 18-year-old white girl. 
Right. You're not going to see any of that. No, all four, all four fucking media is reporting this. Tessa was just beginning her journey at Bernard and in life. We mourn this devastating murder of an extraordinary woman. Yeah. This is an unthinkable tragedy that has shaken us to our core. Please know that we are all grieving together, and I am thinking of you as we uh, process this awful news as a community. In one of the most heartfelt uh, social media posts about the teen her dad wrote on her 18th birthday on May 11th 18 years ago today my life got redefined in all the right ways when this little bundle of fun came into the world he posted adding happy birthday Tessa ran majors a fantastic young lady I can't wait to see the next 18 years see what the next 18 years have in store during the investigation of the Grizzly slaying, cops followed a trail of blood to a fifth-floor apartment uh, apartment by the nearby uh, Grant House Grant Houses on Amsterdam Avenue. The fucking projects, right? Blood, trail of blood leads back to the projects. Inside, they found a 16-year-old boy who fitted the description of her attacker wearing a green jacket. He was taken into custody. Though charges against him are pending police would not say if the arrest was connected to Major's killing. Why don't you say that it's a black teen? Why don't you say that it's black four black teens in the in the in the projects hit this girl and it's racially motivated because they think that she's white and she's rich and she's privileged and fuck her and we're gonna kill her, we're gonna take her shit, we're gonna knock that shit, we're gonna white we're gonna take that white bitch, take her down. That's the reality of it, man. Why don't you report it the cro- the proper way? Oh, no, no, we can't talk about this. Violent crimes occur in New York. The apartment is known, is a known hub for criminal activity, police sources said. The apartment is a known hub? So what is it, like a drug ring? What the fuck? And police have been investigating knife point robberies in the area recently said. So that's one report. And here she is. Uh, this is Tessa. Uh, Bernard Freshman, I think that's all the details there. There's a video. Let's look at the video. Here's, uh, here's channel, what is this? ABC. ...is emerging about the college freshman viciously stabbed to death inside a park in Upper Manhattan. All black female commentators, just, just for a side note. The 18-year-old woman who studied at Barnard College was surrounded and attacked by a group of men at Morningside Park. Now the campus community is reacting. Eyewitness News reporter Candace McCowan is live in Morningside Heights with the very latest. Candace. Well, Charlene, this is truly... Just a, just a, 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 you know, pause. Could you imagine, could you imagine if it was a, 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 a white, a black, a black... Uh, 18-year-old girl going to school and four white people mugged her? Could you imagine the, the outrage? Every black, every black community group in the world would be chirping about this. It would be international news. It would be every, there would be visuals and candlelit stuff and, oh, how, how, how the blacks are so discriminated. On this. Could you imagine? Am I exaggerating? No. No, that's what happens. That's what that's what is happening. So let's listen for the report. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, and they got it right. They got the story right that it's 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 uh, four black teens beating the shit and killing a uh, a young white girl going to school in New York. Maybe I'm wrong. It's frightening. This was uh, completely random and happening just feet away from this college campus, Columbia, here, here in Morningside Park. There are still investigators here along Morningside Drive this morning. And we're also learning the name of that 18-year-old who was killed. Tessa Majors is her name. That name released in a letter from Barnard College to their community. She was a first-year student here at the school. And we uh, know that her parents are coming in from Virginia, where she is from. Now, take a look at this video. This happened just around 5 last night. Tessa was apparently walking through Morningside Park when a group of suspects approached her attempting to rob her. There was some type of scuffle and she was stabbed multiple times in the stomach. That group ran off and Tessa, who attempted to climb stairs to get to a security booth, uh, but it was empty when she got here. That guard stationed at that booth was doing his rounds. Tessa collapsed and by the time that guard got back about 30 minutes later, 
it was just too late. An officer's finding a gravity knife and a phone inside the park. Again, Bernard College releasing a letter saying that they have a counseling center open throughout the day today saying that Tessa was just beginning her journey at Barnard and in life we mourn this devastating murder of an extraordinary young woman and member of our community. You can only imagine what her parents are feeling this morning. Now we do know that police are questioning a group of teens at this time, but they have not made any arrests in this brutal murder. Hmm. So it's just it is not a not, not a single mention. Stop. Not a single mention of any any racial tensions. It's, it's like it's like it doesn't even exist, right? It doesn't even exist. Right? It's just we don't know who did it. No, you do know who did it. You got four fucking teens that run back into the projects. Uh, they, they, I was gonna go there today. I was on my way out the door when I read this story early in the morning. I was I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. And then I kept reading, and I said, oh, they got them. They got the teenagers because you could find them very easily. You just go go into the go into the fucking area and poke around, and you'll find you'll find the fucks that did this. You'll find all of them. You'll they don't they they flip on each other. They're not you know. There's no integrity. Go in there and say, yo, what happened, man? You will find them. You'll find them very. I would find them very. I find them in an hour. I find the motherfuckers in an hour. Right? One hour. Bernard College is a private woman's liberal college, a liberal arts college. So this is where the girl went to school. Uh, located in Manhattan, New York City. I'll show you a map. It's right across the street from Columbia University. Founded in 1889. Um, it was named after blah, blah, blah. The college was founded as a response. Uh, oh, the acceptance rate, that's what I wanted to say. It's uh, one of the oldest all-women's college in the world. The acceptance rate at the uh, of a class of 2023 was 11, 11.3%. 11 so they only take 10% of their applicants. 10%, so 90% uh, uh, rejection rate at the school. So it's very selective. Uh, the college was founded uh, as a response to Columbia's refusal to admit women into their institution. Bernard is affiliated with, but legally and financially separate from Columbia University. It's the same school. They, they commingle everything. Uh, pre pre classes, preset classes, clubs, Greek life teams, uh, they play on each other's teams. So she was pursuing bachelor of arts degree. Well, it's about it's arts degree. She was a musician too. Uh, so I pulled up Phoebe, Phoebe uh, Bridges. So here's the scene of the crime, right? So this is this just to know where you are. This is Manhattan. Uh, here's Central Park. Uh, here's Brooklyn. <laughs> That's where I am. Uh, so Manhattan, uh, it's the upper part of Manhattan. This is all Harlem up here. Uh, let's go to Harlem. Right? So there's this park over here, and it's called Morningside Park. Right midway, 116th Street, there's a staircase that leads from one side of the park to the other. Here's Columbia University up here. Right? Bernard College is, where is Bernard? Bernard College is right here. So you see, she goes to school at Bernard, she probably lives over here for, for an affordable rent. Why is she walking through the park at night? Maybe, maybe heading home. She may have lived over here. Now, there is security over here, but here's the, here's the entrance to the park. It's right here. For some reason, Google is not letting me push into the... Into the I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. But there, there you see. It's 116th Street. This is the... Um, this is probably where the stairs are. The stairs are somewhere right over here. And she's trying to get from here, right, to here, 116th Street. Maybe she was trying to take the train at a, at a there's a C train right over here somewhere. Uh, maybe she was trying to take the train. But, but the point was that she was trying to get from here, the top of the park, and go in. She walks into the park. She goes onto the trail. And these motherfuckers jump her and stab her. And then she tries to get back out of the park with all stabbed. They stabbed her in the face. They stabbed her in the neck, in the stomach. And she tried to get out. Uh, so that's where it is. Now, where do these jerk-offs live, right? So there, here's, here's, here's the scene of the crime, right? 116th Street. And these motherfuckers live, excuse me, these assholes live in the projects right here. They live in, in Grant Houses, basket, right here. In the fucking projects in Harlem, right? 123rd Street, 124th Street, La Salle, right? 
They're fucking animals, right? They run back in there. They stab the girl. Oh, I got a fucking, get a fucking wallet, man. Get a fucking, get a shit, man. Grab a fucking shit, man. Stab the bitch, motherfucker. Motherfuckers, man. You should hang these kids, man. Get them all. Get them all. You were there? You know anything about it? Good. String them up, man. So, uh, so there you go. Marks Conti reporting. I, I just, it just, it makes my blood boil, man. Racial tensions in America. It's just you want to say that it doesn't exist. You want to say, you want to then say, well, uh, you know, uh, white privilege. Where's, where's Al Sharpton? Where's, uh, where's uh, Charlie Rangel, the congressman? Where are these fucking people today? A, ki- a student gets killed, but if it's a black, oh man, oh, it's all over the news. That's that's what we got to talk about. We got to fucking talk about it. Because, it, cause, cause, because whites don't get that privilege. Whites, don't, whites could be stabbed to death in the middle. Of, you can go to college and, give, and now it gives New York a bad name. You, a kid comes to college, Columbia University, a relatively safe area, <clears throat> and these fuckers, you know, stalk this girl and kill her, man. It's just... So, uh, Tessa Majors. And sometimes